Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Karen Lavender Clothesline and it is a gorgeous sunny day here. Today is Friday and I am in the car once again. I live in this car and I am headed up to Mannheim, Pennsylvania, which isn't far from my house, a little bit north, and we are going to visit Prussian Street Arcade. I love the arcade. The arcade is a big building that has been renovated and it is filled with vendors who sell vintage items, antique items, and handmade items. Pretty much those three things. And while I don't find a really low price point there, I do find some items that I am able to flip for a profit. But mostly I go there when I'm having like a chill day where I just want to relax and enjoy the day. I usually bring a coffee, which I already have started sipping on, and I always bring snacks. So <laughs> wasn't even out of the driveway, and I was eating hard pretzels. <laughs> I'm like a little kid. I pack snacks in my handbag every day, every time I go out, and most times I'm eating them like the minute I'm on the road, like, oh, road trip. But today we are on the road. It is Friday. And I wanted to wish everybody a happy Easter because you guys will be seeing this video most likely on Sunday if you watch when it comes out. So yeah, so that's what we're up to today. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let's see what pretty things we can find today. So here we are in the front of Prussian Street Arcade. Whoever designed this did a beautiful job, and I think I've shown this front to you guys before. Now to the left in the red brick building is a bakery lunch place, really good. And let's get started with Prussian Street Arcade. So I'm gonna start out a little bit differently than I normally do in this big arcade. I'm going to choose the booths that are my favorites and spend a good amount of time in them, really showing you what they have. I triple love, 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 love this booth. So these are paper wallflowers used in weddings and different events, but also beautiful if you have like a beauty studio or a YouTube studio, just saying. <laughs> All right, and this has got to be my most favorite booth. I love the aesthetic. I love whoever's doing the buying and we're gonna spend a little bit of time in here. Now, when I first saw this wicker piece, I was surprised to feel how heavy it was and I didn't realize that there was pottery inside. Now, they're calling this a finial. I almost think this is a hanging planter and they're displaying it upside down. But either way, how great is that? Everything catches my eye in this booth. I don't know because it's kind of monochromatic and that's my thing. But look at this beautiful treasure jar. I don't know what this is called. In clay box. I knew that. <laughs> $38. Probably soapstone. That's a guess. I'm not sure. Some kind of stone. This is a rattan jar. So someplace this person is getting where rattan is built around different ceramics. Just some really sweet salt and pepper shakers. I loved that vanity box on the wicker chair. I thought that was great. Also this little donkey. I just want a whole setup like this in my house just to enjoy this. Now my eye is being caught by the amber brown jar on the top of that table there. And guys, I'm almost positive that is the same exact glass vase that I almost bought in Goodwill last week, a couple weeks ago, something like that. And I put it back for some reason. I thought I purchased it. So maybe I have a different one and it's still in my trunk. I'm going to have to check on that because I think I bought that. But I like that brown apothecary colored glass. So here are some claw feet from a piece of furniture. Don't these make really interesting like paperweights or just, I don't know what we would do with them but I thought that was very fun. Okay, swoon, <laughs> swoon time. Look at this beautiful wooden cabinet. 
$125. I think this is definitely worth it. Not worth reselling, but worth buying for personal use. Now, if I needed a little more drawer space in my office, I might have purchased that because that would give me pleasure all day long looking at how beautiful that was. And then we're right on to moving on to a ceramic cookie jar with a hungry mouse. I think at this point I am appreciating the way that this um, dealer put his shelving up also, he or she. I really wanted to pick up a lot of pieces and show you prices uh, for this video, so I'm gonna do quite a bit of that. But look at the way those cinder blocks are holding the plank shelving. Very industrial chic, I'm gonna call that. Really nice, farmhouse, all the words. I loved the pop of color. With all of these wood tones going on, I love the way that different items of color are displayed in very clear jars. I think when we walk through a place like this, we can get a lot of ideas for our own houses to decorate. Now, I'm not really one to put a lot of things on a shelf that I have to dust because Lord knows I'm not cleaning as much as I used to with my schedule that I'm running but I really like getting ideas. That was hand-blown mercury glass. I don't know that I would call that mercury glass, but I'm sure they know better than I do. Okay, how sweet was this little tree gnome? Elf planter, $22. So maybe not enough meat on the bone for resale, but super cute. A few of the items that are on the shelves, I remember from last time I was in this booth, and I think that was last time I gave you guys a video of Prussian Street Arcade. Woods of Hawaii, beautiful bowl. So not everything flips quick in life. You know, a lot of times when we watch on YouTube or Instagram, a lot of people make it seem like they're just flipping everything every single day. But in my opinion, a lot of sellers have items for quite a while. I remember looking at this guy last time, and yep, I still love him. A pair of wood candlesticks. I really, really like the wood of this shelving. Very primitive, very well-built quality, but yet it has that real distressed look. Okay, I feel like I've seen this Roadrunner 10 times over now. So sometimes they are signed and sometimes they are not. This one was in pretty good condition. I always like to check what things are going for. This one's $12. So then I can always compare, you know, what can be purchased to flip. Salt and pepper shakers again. This wood tray, beautiful. I think that was like a Mexican style folk art painting. All of you are so kind to leave me messages about how much I'm helping you. And I appreciate your kind words so much. Just know that I feel like I know a little about a lot of things. There are resellers that are experts in certain fields and they know a lot. Usually it's in a couple of niches. I feel like I know just a little about a lot of things. This leather woven mesh bag caught my attention. I've never seen that before. There's a tall painted tray and I am catching this mirror. I have sold almost this same exact mirror for a lot more money than this was. This was $32 they wanted. Excellent price. There's the tap test. This was that plastic resin, but I didn't feel like shipping it. So I left that behind. Now just know this shopping trip was more of a leisure trip for myself 
Today is Friday when I'm filming this and I really just needed a day to relax, drink a coffee and look at pretty things. So I really wasn't trying to buy inventory. Beautiful cherub candlestick, I think that was. Hollywood Regency, Victorian. Sometimes, yep, I put farmhouse chic, even with very over-the-top, ornate Victorian things. Okay, can we all talk about this bowl? Here I'm just looking at this little ram statue, and he was cute, but it was the bowl that I was going for. Look at this wood. Karen, why didn't you pick this up? Wooden bowl. What kind of wood is that? I might go back and get that. I think that was a mistake on my part not to buy that for myself. Has anybody seen that kind of wood? What are we looking at? Must be some kind of tropical tree. I don't know. So there I'm double checking, like, you sure they didn't say what kind of wood that was? I might go back and get that because this place is only maybe 10 minutes from my house. Here I'm appreciating the rug. <laughs> I don't think the rug is for sale. Every little thing catches my eye. Here I'm noticing these are wood panels with fish on them. I've got a thing about fish. I like koi fish though. These are, I think, angel fish. But these are wood panels. It's called an underwater scene, $18. And I'm trying to figure out, I almost thought these were inlays or inserts, inserts, that's what I want to say, for furniture and somebody took them out. Like panels on the side of a hutch or something? So again, guys, would you leave a comment down below if you have ever seen these? Large underwater. That's what it says. I don't know if they knew what they had. I thought that would make gorgeous wall decor. So this booth is Creek and Willow Vintage in Prussian Street Arcade, Mannheim, Pennsylvania. If you're anywhere in the area, you definitely want to take time to go through this large warehouse of a place. How's that for a description? <laughs> so today I'm not taking time to go through every booth, but this one is next to the one we just came out of. I thought these were really inventive. I'll just say that. Those are garden stakes, flowers made out of different glassware, new fangled vintage. And I was appreciating the setup of this booth. Lots of room to move around. Now I think they could have put in a little bit more inventory. This English server was gorgeous, $7.95. I don't know that that was worth $7.95, but I loved the round corners and somebody is chalk painting, or I don't know if that was chalk paint, refinishing furniture. I always test the drawers to see what kind of smoothness the drawer has, because for my pieces of furniture, I want my drawers to slide in and out very easily. I don't have time for sticking drawers. So even if I'm not planning on buying a piece, I always take a look at that. Okay, so this is maybe a galvanized tray, and I'm not sure how they did that. I don't think that was stamped. I almost think it was maybe some kind of wallpaper that was decoupaged on there, and then they stenciled Enjoy Life. Very cute. I liked the spring mason jars. Here I'm doing a 360 for you guys, so you could see the lighting, the ambiance, just beautiful. So this is the last vendor space on this side of the building. I cut the building in quadrants. You come in on the side in the middle of the building, I'm going to say. It's really the front door. Lemon poppy seed candle, sage leaf. I thought those names were really, you know, the scents were really different. Okay, I'm loving everything right here. I don't necessarily really want to buy any of that, but the aesthetic is beautiful. Okay, maybe I liked that wood vase. <laughs> if you guys really came to my house, I don't have a lot of wood bowls and vases for myself, but I'm very attracted to that. 
I love good wood. So I know a lot of the bigger vendors seem to be staying in this space, so that tells me that they're probably doing quite well. But I could be making that up. I know it's been a very hard year for COVID for many businesses, and this day, on a Friday, this place was well attended. Woven baskets always catch my attention. Again, that plank shelving. I thought not only the bracelets were pretty, but the way that they displayed those on the rock. What kind of rock is that? Malachite, maybe? That's a guess. I don't know my rocks. Okay, do you guys remember the game Mancala? It was like wooden boards with depressions, and you counted stones. And that was giving me an idea of like, wow, a Mancala game would be cool to display different things in your home. Okay, vintage handbags. I should say vintage style basket bags. $42. I thought that was a little bit high. I have seen those in like J. Crew for about half the price. This pottery was gorgeous, almost like cactus pottery. I've never seen pottery like that. I really like those walls. Very Romanesque or Italian. Okay, at this point, I'm looking at the rugs and I'm also looking at <laughs> those basket handbags because I love them. And then silly me, I realize I'm carrying almost the, exactly the same handbag. Not really exactly, but <laughs> do I need another basket bag? I might. Although with those bags, there's no real way to close them. So a little bit of a security issue there. How cute are these little spoons? Seven fifty Beechwood. This next booth, I was excited to show you guys. Look at the color aesthetic. Somebody is very good with color. When you look at this booth as a whole, it is just so beautiful. You don't know what to look at first. So of course I took my time and looked at everything. Now, because I'm filming, it is very hard to, and I always say this, to shop, there's the name, Modern Vintage, and purchase things for myself, and that was the plan for the day, to just buy personal things and look. So I tell myself I'm going to film, I'm going to walk through and film and show you guys all the prettiness, and then I would walk, you know, put the camera away and walk back through and see if there was anything I wanted to purchase. I did try on a few pieces of clothing, and I did consider a purchase or two, and I came away with nothing, which is rare for me because I will spend money on myself. Look at this fish, $15. I thought that was very good. Again, maybe I should have bought him. Do you guys think I should have bought that fish for resale? $15. You know, when you thrift in your yard sale, you get used to very low prices. <laughs> so to pay more than $5 for anything, it's like, what? <laughs> I'm spoiled, I admit it. Now, when I say I'm spoiled, I don't mean I buy a lot for myself. I don't, I'm pretty frugal. But spoiled in being able to purchase what I need or what I want a lot of times from a thrift store or a yard sale. I really take my hat off to the people that have booths here. What a gorgeous aesthetic this booth had. A lot of these booths are just so pretty. What are these plumy things? I guess it's a natural grass that's been bleached. I don't even know. That's got to be artificial. I'm thinking where they would be shedding. Okay, that's all I got. I have no idea. Okay, see that neon coral blouse? That's so me. And I did like it, but the armholes were cut quite low. And at almost 61, well, I'll be 61 in September, I don't really like really droopy armholes because then you have to wear a shirt under it or your bra shows. So 
I did hold that in front of myself. Look at that color. I love super bright color. Can't be sad wearing a blouse like that. Not that I'm ever really sad. <laughs> and no worries, I did put that blouse that was falling off back on its hanger as soon as I shut the camera off in this booth. Okay, so this is one of the blouses I fell in love with and I tried it on. I took time to put my camera away and tried that on. Unfortunately, that was a size small. And let me just tell you, I am not a small. So hopefully I'm going to go on eBay and see if I can find that same blouse. And if I'm successful, you guys will see that in an upcoming video. Next up was a booth that had these A-frame holders with posters, Madcap Company, only $6 each. And I thought, wow, those are really good. So once I finish my office, I might see if I have wall space and pick up one or two of those because I really liked the graphic on those. And this next booth had quite a bit of artificial plant life, greenery, topiary. See the ferns? I don't think I've ever seen potted fern tree, I'm going to call that even in Home Goods or Michaels. Maybe I just missed it, I don't know. Okay, so now we are back to the halfway point. See that large round wheel of a chandelier? That is the front door. So now we are going to do the other side of the building. And again, I'm just gonna pick my favorite booths. Here I'm seeing pink carnival glass, an iridescent. I really haven't seen pink too much. $11.95, I thought that was good. Now, just because I'm saying I haven't seen pink too much doesn't mean it's not plentiful. It just means that I haven't seen it too much. So I will probably make a mental note for myself to check on that to see if there is quite a bit of that on eBay. Even when I shut my computer down for the evening, a lot of times I am still doing research to learn as much as I can. Okay, I don't know who Rick's was, but <laughs> I think he had a Coca-Cola sign at one point. And a wood box or chest. I imagine this was a toolbox. Vintage, yes, $74.95. Very cool. And I really fell in love with this caterpillar. Is it a caterpillar? Yeah, I think so. I think that's what he's supposed to be. I thought he was very fun. And I guess somebody made him. I don't know. I kind of think that that might have been made in China. I'm not sure. Very much like those fish plates. That's the kind of fish I like but I'm ignoring them because I'm not gonna hang plates on my wall and I zeroed in on that clipper ship. Is that what kind of ship that is? See so guys, <laughs> most of my knowledge is guesses. I felt this booth was lacking in inventory. I do like when there's space to move around, but I like a shelf where there's a lot to look at. Here is just looking at those vintage trays. And this booth has quite a bit of primitive and rusty aesthetic, I'm gonna say. To me, it's a little more man cave-ish. So I didn't spend too much time in clothing booths. There are quite a few here, but can we all talk about these jeans? Is this a thing and I don't know it? This is like a woven serape, the Rachel, uh, woven serape inset jeans. So here I've laid out a pair so we can all look at this. And I really need your help. If you guys have seen this before, would you do me a favor and put a comment down below? I have not seen these. So it's a skinny jean and they have sewn on panels of, I'm gonna call that serape material. Okay, we are coming around the corner, and this is Liz Ridden. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. 
and I'm not sure if Liz is saying she's making this stuff. I don't think so. But the way her tag is on there, it almost looked like she was the manufacturer of this, but I'm sure not because there I'm seeing monkey pod bowls. Again, I felt like there was a lot of space in this booth, so I'm not sure if she's just moving in. Look at these earrings, very good. Horn hoop earrings, I liked those. But I, I probably would not reach for those. You know me, I'm all about tassels and bright colors. I felt like this booth might be passed up a lot because there wasn't a lot to look at. Now here's a booth that's very cool. Handmade and loved again. Chrissy Lee. Good job, Chrissy Lee. I really liked your booth. So, of course, I have to zoom in. So, tassels and hoops. Now we're getting fancy. Again, maybe I should have bought those, but I think I'm finally getting tassel earrings out of my system. <laughs> Probably not, but maybe. And for those of you who wondered where I got tassel earrings from, they were all over the place where I am. I'm sure where you are too. Target had a ton of them. All the mall stores had them. And I think they just brighten the face. So, yes to tassel earrings. Very fun. Painted rocks. When I was younger, I painted rocks and sold them door to door. Yep, that's how my career started. So now I am just ending with the Bixler Blooms flower booth. And here they are encouraging us to post ourselves and put it on social media. And I am happy to help out. What fun is this? I'm hoping to make a thumbnail with this Bixler Blooms beautiful creation of flower wall. And I want this in my house. And I realized as I'm walking out the door, I wanted to show you one more thing. You guys are my friends. I want to show you one more thing. Wasn't that a cool chandelier? Very, very pretty. This place is definitely worth a visit. Thanks for watching. Go out and get what's yours.